Now listen closely. For a second, I thought you were going to jump in with the Kennedy voice. <laughs> now listen closely. We're all Kennedys here. <laughs> we're all Kennedys. <laughs> this is Kong Pathologic. I'm not Maria Kena. I am Maria Kennedy. <laughs> What do you mean? Simon? Simon's dead? Is Simon the dead one? I'm not paying attention. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean Simon's dead? No. Nothing bad great. ever happens to the Kennedy. No, Georgie was the guy we were just talking to. I thought his name was Victor. <laughs> no, that was, no, the guy before Victor was the guy we were talking to. That was Georgie. I guess it's Simon. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this game is a lot of reading. Yeah. Now listen closely. The time for conclusion, for collusion, conclusion, collu- collu- <laughs> collusion, secrets is an alliance has come. I'm going to ask something of you, and I'm not used to that. I'm not, I'm, I'm used to holding the reins, but you are not harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to dress a, you in this, is this manner. Is this a kink thing? Are you, <laughs> is, is, this, is this a kink thing? Are you thing? asking me to have sex with you? <laughs> <laughs> Find solace in the fact that my request will be welcomed with you if it fits... Your style of your- if it's the style of adventure, is this a kink thing? (laughs) Neither of these answers are good. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. I apologize if my words come across as mangled and silly. I am truly not used to asking, but the nature of my request demands a complete and selfless humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling, and believe me, I do feel that way. Um, today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the sc- opened the score of irreplaceable victims. Soon their number will be will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of people, of several people, when the lines of their fortune crosses yours. Before any of them dies, there will be a moment when you will be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. How? I had a vision. I'm a clairvoyant. I will become the nocturnal queen soon, just like my beloved sorceress mother used to be. So you want me to take care of them? And turn the back of the wheel that is about to crush us. Yes, that is my last hope. Perhaps you see, perhaps you, perhaps at least you are our our master of your fate. Even Simon cannot boast of this title now. Um. Oh my gosh, this lady. Oh, oh gosh, I'm yawning. I'm not that good at separating the interweaving lines of life, but my intuition is superb. Stay alert, bachelor. Wait for the condem- Wait, watch the condemned ex- extend their hands towards you begging for your help. Will you deny it that- uh, deny it to them? They are essential for your victory. That doesn't matter. What was destined to happen will happen. And you can be whatever you want to be. But not a coward choosing to hear no evil and running away from reality. I will give you a list of those I know of. These people are bound to you. Are you trying to flirt with me? Bound? Are you trying to flirt with me? There's a tight spring of power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence and become something greater. They are standing on the verge of their humanity, gazing onto the realm where they could serve a different, higher purpose, without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to make the leap, one way or another. That's why we call them simply the bound. Huh. I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future- Excuse- <laughs> Excuses. 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 Tell us the answer. The future is not clear as clear to me as I would prefer, but I can feel the present. I can already distinguish a, a dubious guess from the pulse of the precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you. Your lives are connected. I would. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. Shari said she's a clairvoyant. Why'd you click it? I didn't want to click the other one. It was also bad. Oh, they're all bad. Ah, uh, yes, I've told you. Ha- you haven't been told, have you? Yes, we have. What? It didn't even cross my mind that someone not- someone may be unaware of my abilities. 
No one here dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress, uh, mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transform the present. Will you comply with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I name to you? Answer me before I'm before going back to Eva. Alright, if it is truly within my power, I'll do my best to save their lives. That sounds good to me. What? Georgie? Victor? I don't know who that is yet. Yeah. Peter? Peter. Mar uh, hey, this is <laughs> cheating. You're on here. Hey! Hey, Eva. Mark. <laughs> Mark Immortel? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, bye, Maria. Wait, where am I supposed to go now? I thought you were going to that one dude's house. Oh, hey, you guys are back. I forgot about them. I should do one and you'll do the other. Do you want this one or the other one? Uh, I think the other. Okay. This town is small and rather unexceptional, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. The simple folk and the more remarkable ones. The former will tell you more than they know. The latter way more than they're ever going to let out. Keep a close eye on them. Your victory depends on it. That's a good voice. There are twenty-something of them, easily distinguished by their lodgings or their presence. They're called by many names. The Bound, the Fated, the Adherents, the Gobos Chagular, the Town Circle. Simon prefer their company to any other. Because it is, it is that, it is, because it is, ah, we'll decide the fate of this town. Don't be distracted by the fact that some of them look insignificant or disreputable. They will earn your, their worth. You just give them time. They're more important joints of the town. Each day, one of them will try death by the tooth. Each will put their life at risk, and each one that dies is important. Some of them may take the victory, the keys to the victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours while the grave is theirs. Others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. Okay, okay, all right. Dropping you more hints would be cheating. Shutting up now. Allow me to conclude, then. Each bound you save will influence your final adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may so happen that those who seek different endings survive. And then, well, you've been warned. Take that into account. Bird. Hello. Bird. Big bird man. Hello. Why are they taller? There is something in particular we feel the urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please choose your words carefully. Do not worry. You will easily be able to make out what kind of person is standing before you. An observant man that you are. So use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, <laughs> whereas others need to be treated with most, uh, with most, with utmost respect. Wow, like real life. Every line you utter will have consequences. News spreads rapidly around here. If you spoil your reputation in one place, you will have to reap what you have sown in another. Restore your good name in the south, and you'll receive a warmer welcome in the north. They will heed every word you say, and you'll be rewarded. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> <clears throat> it's for the best. Um, wait, okay, so where am I supposed to be going? Oh, <sighs> building up there, right? Oh, I gotta go talk to that dude. That's a long way. Town hall. Can you go talk to who? That dude? Bad Grief Slayer. What's the little sticker in the bottom left? I do not know. Okay. Um. I guess I can go back to Eva first. <coughs> and I'll go over there. Eva's yeah, okay. closer. How do I get over there? Walk. 
Oh, if I... Okay. Excuse me, scary tutorial men. I like them. I like doing that voice. That's a good voice for him. That was perfect. It's a bit squawkish. Mm-hmm. He's a bird. He's a bird person. I would love to be a bird person. Bird person? Fly? That'd be pretty lit. Unless you were What a... building is- this is the cathedral, isn't it? Unless you were a kanku. Unless you were a kanku, then it sucks to suck. Sure. Yeah, uh, no, you know kankus. Do I? Yeah, but they're D&D birds. No, D &D, not D&D birds. They're a D&D race. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play as one, though. Oh, that's right, yeah. They're just bird people that can't fly. I love how they're giving me, like, tutorials, but I have not been told any of the controls. Yeah. They're like, you should know how to play. Hey, I got those people out of your yard. I hope. Oh, Eva. Hey, Buzz, what's up? What's up? That ominous singing outside the window is gnawing at me. Who could be singing at a time like this? Very little... Very little time has passed, but I feel hungry and exhausted again. Or, I can't hear anything. I don't know. Since you've decided to fight death, you'll have to be very careful. It's September. You will be dying with every breath of our air. I don't... Okay. Cool? <laughs> Should I have stocked up on air from the capital? That's funny, actually. You've got me wrong. You will be dying here much faster than in the capital. Your body is wasting away just as fast as a boat sinks in its hold full of water. Breathe in this air. Can you feel it? Why? This is step is full of various herbs. They fill the air with dizzying vapors. White whip, tire, swervery are dangerous in August and September when herbs surrender their juices to the sun. People tend to get headaches this time of year. Heart sufferers lie in bed with pains. My heart aches too. How do you people live here? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Twire is a rare herb, so usually it's bearable. But this year it's unbelievably plentiful. The elderly say that this is phenomenal. Nothing like this has happened before. They think it's a bad omen. Well, I don't believe that. But the air is droning. Can you feel it? Don't you feel dizzy? You need to sleep often. Never go hungry. Drink more water. You need to look after yourself properly. If you feel sick, forget everything else and get some rest. Otherwise, you may die of a heart attack or bleeding. Be careful, all right? <laughs> the more I think and do, the faster I day. That's symbolism if I ever saw it. I mean... <laughs> okay, that's the end of that combo. This game's really meta. Cool, I guess. Huh. So what do you need now? Um, I think we should talk to the, uh, dude. Right? Yeah, he's a little bit there. Oh, good lord. Okay, well, there's a bridge. It's pretty close. Yeah. Can we just, like, on a- on a- Oh! Uh, move the mic by accident. It's fine. We're just, like, on a cliff's edge. Is that what's happening? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh no. Well, that's a suspicious character. Look at that suspicious <laughs> man. <laughs> I love him. He's my favorite. I haven't even met him. He's my favorite. Here we go down the stairs. Do 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 do. That's probably why it's so foggy. Wait, I want to talk to him. I wish I knew how to run. Excuse me, sir, you look suspicious and I would like to speak to you. Here he comes. Not because you're suspicious, just because you look kind of interesting. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, why does he look like that? Oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is. For tis her... Tis her wrath that no... That has to be withstood. Oh, friend, if only I could wet my whistle, I'd gladly give you anything on earth for an exchange of a gulp, gulp of chili, whatever. A gulp of chili. I need chili. <laughs> 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 
This is the face of a man that needs chili. Now. I don't like this man's face. <laughs> it's really funny. I don't like it. Only lowly animals, dirty of image, drink from the river. Us proud men deserve to drink spring water. Tis the rotten Which is why I'm girls. begging you to give me water. But they're often empty. I'd get it from there. But I'm out of bottles. I'd drink it straight from the fountain. But I'm going to faint. Their air here is too spicy. I'm barely walking as it is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Um. It is with great trep trepidation that I set out to answer your question, Professor. The abattoir that has... That has been here since nothing else was. Why would you build a meat mac factory first? Mark my words. <laughs> Mark my word. Singular. Mark my words. <laughs> here. <laughs> Mark it. <laughs> write it down. Right, right I know down. you have a little notebook. Yeah. Pull it out. Write it down. It will remain when nothing else does. For tis all vanity of vanities. And all is vanity. Why trepidate? My trepidation comes from uncertainty and confusion, Professor. The abattoir instills fear for that it is the temple of death. An operational one, mind you, unlike the town of town cathedral on Bridge Square. Hundreds of bulls are being slaughtered there. What else is there to know? It is our humble town that provides the whole northeastern region with beef, or even the country, whole country may have. Oh, I'm getting dizzy again. How many poor bull souls does it take to stuff the belly of a country that has millions upon millions of citizens, eh? You mean it's this weird-ass town that everybody's getting their meat from? I worry about everyone else here. Yeah. Why is his face like that? I don't want to talk to you punch anymore. Him. I don't think that's a good idea. I have to maintain my reputation. No, punch him. No. Destroy him. You can't make me do Let him anything. die. 